Hi guys, welcome back. I am going to do a what's in my purse video. I haven't done one since last year. I think it was January 2013 whenever my last one got updated or uploaded. So I decided to do one today. Um, I love watching these videos. These are really fun to watch and it's, I don't know why, it's like weird watching people just show their bags and taking things out of their bags but it's fun and I like it. Actually I think my favorite part is actually seeing the purse itself and then yeah. I'm a handbag junkie, so why not? Um, so yeah, so let's get in it. Um, today I am using this purse. It's the Speedy 30 and the Steven Sprouse um, roses print on it. This was a 2009 collection piece. Yeah, I think this collection came out in 2009. And then he has the other collection that came out in 2001, I believe. So yes. I absolutely love this bag. I am obsessed with the roses. They're day glow. They're a little bit neon. I love this purse. It's it's just fun. There's roses all over the place. And it's just a really fun bag. And um, it's in the speedy shape. So yeah. Love it, love it, love it. There you go. Front side. And this one's kind of cool because... Um, I don't know, I'm a big Louis fan. Um, I've been uh, straying away a little bit lately just because, I don't know, I haven't really found one or seen a collection that I really, really like. Um, but they used to stamp where it was made in all their, in all their um, bags. So I have bags. Um, a lot of them were made in the USA. I don't think any were made in Spain. I have a couple made in France, kind of the more um, extravagant ones. And I have the Neverfull in the same print, and that one I believe was made in the USA. But this one was made in France. So that's kind of cool. Just, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't make a difference. It's just, I just think it's cool. I don't know. Okay, whatever. So, um, let's get in it. I, let's, I don't know, first thing, um this little notebook I've had this one for a couple of years now it's um, just where I jot down different things and there's so many random things here um, just anything that I need to like remember or it's not like I have no order in this it's not even like I don't know it's just random stuff that I just kind of write down I I don't know I've never gotten used to you know, doing notes on my phone or keeping things on my phone. I'm still, you know, a pen and pencil or pen and paper kind of girl. I like to write it down. So, um, yeah. So I'm almost, no, I'm not. Um, yeah, I still have like two, like one third of this notebook to go. And I really like it just because the, it's sturdy. It has the sturdy, um, cover and back to it. And I have a pen with it, and yeah, it's just really helpful. So there's that. Um, sunglasses, I'm using the Dior, I don't know the name of these, but um, they're really fun and really cool. Let me show you. So they're these blue mirrored um, sunglasses, and I love anything that's mirrored. I have um, the Ray-Bans. I have the red and the green, and I really want the blue just to complete my collection of the Ray-Bans, but I, was, I already have these blue ones, so that's the only thing that's stopping me. I most likely won't get them, but I still want them, because, you know, you always want everything. Um, and they, like, Dior has some new designs out right now for their summer 2014 collection, so definitely really cool. I would like to get one of those, but again, I already have these. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, but the sunglasses that I really, really want are the Prada. The ones that have like the circular frames on them. And then this um, area here has that one like shape to it. I really, really want those. And I saw the red ones in um, socks the other day. But I already have red sunglasses. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It depends. I'll have some extra money in my account, which I never do. But if that happens to happen one day, I may get them. Maybe. Possibly. Alright, so I have lots of receipts. Um, this one from Saks Off Fifth that I returned. This is from work. My bag is... 
it gets so messy because I just put receipts in there and I never clean out my bag. So, yeah. This one's from Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks has sweet tea now. It tastes so good. But it depends who makes them because then sometimes it's not as sweet or something. It's not as good. Which the Starbucks at the mall that I work at, um, it's really disappointing me because they're, I don't know, they just have a weird vibe and I don't like people working there. They just, they don't, I don't. I just don't like it. But anyway, sweet tea's good. Um, I have keys. I have two sets of keys. This one is just miscellaneous keys of keys that I have been collecting over the years. And I don't know why I still have them. Um, this is for my brother's car. No. What is this for? I know what car this is. Okay. Um, I have... And my other little Speedy 25, you know how it comes with the lock and key, so I have one of the keys in here, and then the other keys with the lock. I have my parents' old car thing, um, my dad's old truck, and I don't know what this particular one is for, this was really small. And then I have a Tokyo Hotel keychain. Um, I used to be obsessed with Tokyo Hotel whenever they first came out, like in 2008-ish. Um, their very first album in English is my favorite album. Their second one, um, I like it. Nah, I didn't love it. I did like it. Didn't love it. And, um, they haven't really come out with anything since. I know right now they've been updating at their, um, in the studio working on music, so hopefully. But the first album is my favorite, so, um, I was obsessed with it. So I got a Tokyo Hotel keychain and I'm just going to take out all the paper in here because as you can see there's just more receipts of like everything just random stuff receipts 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 um and more receipts 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 okay so now I got a little bit cleaned up and I really don't have a lot of stuff in my purse I I don't carry a makeup bag just because I don't redo my makeup throughout the day I um, don't carry like essential items just because I don't use them. I'm very inefficient. Don't ever ask me for a piece of gum or anything because I never have any or nothing. So my bag is very empty right now. Okay, whatever. Um, this is my wallet. I have a Kate Spade one. I love the color combination on this one. It's pink on the outside and then blue on the inside. It's really fun. Um, one of my co-workers has a little card case in the same color combination. It's so cute. Um, I kind of want it, but I don't need it. Don't want, I need it, want it, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's getting really dirty on the outside though, and it's getting kind of scratched up. So, um, but I love it though. And I'm really not a wallet person, so I'm going to use this until it's literally embarrassing to take out. And I'm not update it to something else. I may go ahead and go, I may go for another Kate Spade just because of the colors. They're really fun. Alright, I have my phone with no case. I really want to get the phone case of the Chanel um, perfume bottle one. That one's really fun. But, um, I haven't gotten around to ordering it yet. Alright, I have my legit car keys. So, yeah. Alright, and now I just have a whole bunch of perfumes. I mean, not perfumes, lipsticks. I have this many lipsticks in here these are my most used ones so let me go through them right quick and that concludes our our what's in my purse basically that's it I'm telling you I'm very simple in my purses so I need to go get me a new Dior lip glow this is almost out but this one's a really good one just because it uses the natural colors of your lips and it enhances that color so it looks different on everybody some some of them um, could be more in a pink range some of them can look more of a cherry red range it just kind of depends the first time I used this or the first time I bought this one the girl who was wearing it uh, was more of like a deep rosy pink to wear it me on me it was more of a it was just a different shade it just looked different so yeah all right this is another Dior lipstick this is the, du the in the collection Dior Addict lipstick 763 Reflect, and it's oh this one's almost out too. I've used this one up. Um, it's this one here. I don't know if it's even catching it or if it's even focusing 
or anything. My camera is weird. It doesn't have that like screen that flips out. So I don't know what's going on. It might even not be recording right now. I wouldn't even know. So yeah, um, I have a MAC lipstick. This is a Glaze and Lollipop Lovin' AB8. Oh, this is the one I have right now. This one's really cool. This one has, I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's pink, but it has like a gold undertone to it. So it has a little bit of a sheen. It's the one I'm wearing right now. Um, oh, and by the way, I got the Urban Decay, um, Urban Decay Electro Palette. palette. And I love it. The blue that I'm wearing right now is... Let me see if I have it here. So the blue that I'm wearing right now is... In the color Fringe. Which is this one here. And I just smoked it out with some browns and some golds. And just a little tiny bit of black just on the outer corner. Just to kind of darken up the corner. But, um, yeah. This palette is amazing. And, um, I went to Sephora yesterday with my mom because I need to get a new foundation which I got the Benefit Oxygen or Oxy whatever um, foundation which is I kind of like it right now it's my first day using it on a full day so I'm gonna see how it wears out because my skin tends to get really oily and really glowy and dewy and not in a good way so we'll see how this one holds out I'm very picky on my foundations I switch all the time but um she got obsessed with the Naked palettes, which I've always heard of them. I've never really given them a second look, but they're very, very good. I mean, it's got a good range of browns. She's got the two and three. So twos is a good range of like golds and browns and shimmery colors. And then three is more of the pinks and more matte colors. So she got both and we're both going to use them because I tend to go for really bold colors on my eyeshadows. And then I tend to, um, I have two other palettes of Urban Decay, and they have a lot of bold colors and just two or three neutral colors. So, of course, with my bold colors, I mix it with my neutrals. So those two or three neutral colors get warped, like, they get used up really fast. So, yeah, I'm going to go and use her neutral, like, naked palettes all the time to mix in with these bold colors. So that'll be fun. Can't wait. I'm so excited about this palette. It's really nice colors and really pigmented, too. So I have another lipstick. This one's from MAC. This is a Sheen Supreme lipstick and it's called Korean Candy. I don't know. Okay. It's just an orange. I wanted an orange lipstick and I got this one. Which is really cool. And I love this one. I bought this whenever I had black hair so it looked really nice. Now I have kind of like this red hair and it doesn't stand out like it used to. But, um, I think my next hair color is going to go back to black. Maybe. We'll see. I think I really want to, though. I'm kind of over to red. Alright, so my next lipstick is a Dolce & Gabbana lipstick. This one is the color Guilty in 2... Color Guilty 250. So, it's kind of like this pink. Um, this is like a matte pink. So, this is a really nice color. I really like how it looks on me. Let's see if I can watch it so this is how it looks I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can hopefully it focuses I don't even know I don't know what's going on right now just kind of doing it and see what happens and oh, let me take this off we wanted the receipts <laughs> this is why you have receipts they act like napkins that one's not good I need a paper receipt the thermo paper ones don't really clean up as good and none of these are paper. Okay, here's one. Alright. Last lipstick is this Dior. And this is in the Rouge Dior collection. The color 786 Mauve Mystery. Oh, Mistress Mauve. And it's the purple. Oh yeah. I love this one. To death. This one I use a lot, um, not too, too much, but I do wear it quite frequently. And um, I wear all of these bold lipsticks. I, I'm weird. I don't do my, like, I don't just keep my bold makeup or eyeshadow and lipsticks for nighttime. I do not throughout the day. So people kind of look at me like I'm strange because I'm walking around. Like if I'm going out at night to a date or to a lounge or to a club. But that's okay because, you know, I love makeup. 
So yes, this concludes my what's in my purse. Putting this all back in there before I lose. Put in my janitor keys. I feel like a janitor with all my keys, but I need them. I don't need them all the time, but whenever I do need them, I don't have them. So I just made a practice to just carry everything together. Um, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. But okay, so that's it. That's all I have in my purse. Um, it's heavy though. It's all those keys, all those janitor keys. But yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is fun. Um, so yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Today's Friday. Yay. Which it doesn't really matter that it's Friday to me because I'm going to be working all weekend. My weekend usually isn't during the middle of the week. That's usually my two-day weekend, three-day weekend. But other than that, weekends are always working for me. So while I am working, you guys have fun. Enjoy. It's starting to get warm out there. Yay. Summer's going to be coming. Different clothes, different styles. It's going to be good. All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. And thank you.